Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here, and today, as you can see, we are on the Crew Motor Fest, and we are testing out a somewhat new vehicle. It's the Audi SA. Is it the SA? I can't remember. Let's have a look. But it is a pretty new vehicle. It's not even an S anything. It's Audi Scotto's Coupe Quattro um, edition, um, and it is a Hoonigan vehicle. And yeah, let's just get straight into it, I think. It is a street tier 2 vehicle as well. Um, but we're going to go into the customization, even though I know there is nothing here. Only the rims you can change. And I don't think I've ever changed the rims on any vehicle on the crew. Um, like, even in the crew 2. I think the only car I did it on was like my first Fair Lady or something. But no other vehicle. I just like the stock rims. They look nice on all the vehicles. Color, I'm going to change the, we can't even change the color of the vehicle. Wow, so you are quite limited uh, for what to do on this vehicle. Vanity items you can change, um, but we're not going to. But yeah, that is all the customization for this vehicle. Not a lot. So let's get straight into the upgrade or performance parts. And yes, like I said, it is a street tier 2 vehicle. So it only goes up to 750 performance level. And 750 parts are now on. And this thing has a top speed of 224 miles per hour, 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds, brake distance 60 to 0 is 19.1 yards, and it also has 901 horsepower. Enough of me talking, let's see how good this vehicle is in game, so I'll see you at an event in a second. I am trying to find like new events every time to play, rather than just the same events over and over again, because... I know that will probably get boring to watch, me just pretty much using a different vehicle on a different circuit. Um, I mean on the same circuit, but yeah, I'm just trying to find new events for us to actually play. It's very hard, even though the map is quite big, it's very limited into what events there are to actually use and play on. But um, we'll see if this event can be any good for this vehicle and uh, obviously as well i want these events to be good for the vehicle to uh, actually test it out and to be fair i was too busy admiring the vehicle there it looks very very nice i don't like i like the uh the rims they look very nice for some reason it's quite low to the ground as well and it feels quite nice i don't know why the vibration is like going off right now like it's got a heartbeat that's literally what it feels like this vehicle feels like it's got a heartbeat i'm not sure why um, but yeah, it does actually feel pretty good. Handling, maybe not the best so far. We have a, uh, a tightish turn coming up, but I think we can handle with the handling here. Here we go, there's a turn. Yeah, to be fair, isn't too bad. Definitely not the, uh, the best handling vehicle I've used. But this thing does look very nice from the side as well. I wish I could change the colour of it because, I mean, the blue is a good colour, but I don't know. I wanted something like a a grey or a black. That would look quite nice, I think. Maybe even a white. That would look pretty, uh, pretty nice. But, yeah, you're probably wondering how I got this vehicle. I got this vehicle from the Season Pass or... What, is it even called the Motor Pass anymore? I don't know. Um, but it came with the Season Pass that came with the Ultimate Edition of the game or the... Uh, the upgraded version of the game when you buy it. You can also buy it separately as well if you have the standard edition of the game. But yeah, it came with the season pass along with another vehicle, I think, or another couple of vehicles. Um, I think it came out on the 7th or something, so I am a, a bit late, but I've been quite busy. But yeah, I thought I'd try out these vehicles, and this is the first one. And to be fair, it is pretty good so far. We do have another type. Just about. Just about made it. Yeah, we had a tight turn there. I just couldn't get my T's out properly. Um, but no, this thing so far didn't feel overly too bad, which is nice to see. Yeah, this event is definitely made for faster vehicles, like hypercar vehicles and touring car vehicles, but we're doing a trick here. We are still ahead of the uh, the timer, so we'll take it. We are not doing well here though, um, but it's fine. A decent performance from this vehicle, very limited on the customization. But I do think there is a version you can buy of this vehicle on the store. 
I will double check, but I think there is. I'll, I will actually check right now. So I'll see you in a second. So there is a Quattro version of this car. I think it's a Quattro. Um, and it is a rally cross vehicle. Uh, so it isn't a street racing vehicle. So this is the only street racing vehicle of its kind, sort of. Um, but yeah, overall, it wasn't a bad performance. The handling definitely wasn't the greatest in the world, but it was still in that middle range where it's still usable. It's not unusable at all. Uh, the, the speed, it felt pretty quick. The looks as well, it does look very nice. No customization though, unfortunately. And it does come with the season pass, so you do need to buy the season pass. So overall, out of 10, with all them factors combined, I'm going to give this vehicle... It wasn't the greatest vehicle, but I do actually really like the look of it. So I'm going to give it a 6.8 out of 10. I can't give it anything higher, I don't think, just because it is a very average vehicle. It's nothing special. It's just a street racing vehicle, like any other vehicle, really. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really feel special and doesn't really have any special elements. So I think a 6.8 is fair. But if you have used this vehicle, tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video.